Dave is next. And I hope by the way you spell your name, I've pronounced it right. Dave, yes. are you still with us? Okay, there you are. Yeah. You've managed to hang on. Thank you so much. Mom and dad were at Wheel of Fortune and Vanna was being a bitch, wouldn't let her buy another vowel. So. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm Dave Dickinson. I'm Memorable. basically Toronto, just north of Toronto. Um, oh, hey, Dave. Hi. I started um, VO as a side hustle about 2016. And then uh, COVID hit. I lost everything. So it was like, it's been what I've been focusing on for the last couple of years. And I'm probably just going to stick with it. So if I can. Oh, sorry to hear about uh, the loss, uh, but. Uh, you know, He's a musician and sound engineer, live sound engineer. So. Gotcha. Huh. Yeah. They know more, but Hey, at least you've, you, you, you're diving into VO even more. So that's a, that's the positive. I, I, I did one in 84 four by accident i was in a studio and the 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 vo artist didn't show up and my buddy was the engineer in the other room and said hey come over and read this we're just wasting time and i ended up getting the gig so <laughs> all right sound great never followed and up on it so you have all this you have the studio so you're like way yeah. out of the game right okay so we're starting with um is it fitbit yeah we're starting with fitbit, fitbit which we haven't yep. heard of. Here we go. Dave Dickinson. Today, Nikki bonded with a blue whale. And it all started when she got on Fitbit. See, Fitbit's connected to her sleep, which affects how she moves, which affects how she eats, which affects her stress. So does Carol. She learned how to work out smarter, and she made progress. Not perfect, which made her feel better. Be her best, and do something she never thought she could. Introducing the new Fitbit, the complete view of you. I loved the conversational style of the highs and the lows melodically loved your confidence. Um, I love how normal and regular you sound and yet you're acting. I mean, you just, you got it, even though it's a commercial and I loved the micro pauses and the timing. I kind of loved it. Roger. I enjoyed it, Dave. I, uh, I think this is maybe what uh, it isn't this script that had that direction, but the, the unpolished polished, like as Natasha said, it's, it's conversational. Um, you sound like you could live next door down, you know, or down the street or whatever. Um, but you're, you know, there's a pro sound to it too. So I know I'm not literally listening to the guy who lives next door, you know? Uh, so I think you're, you got a nice balance, a little whiskey, whiskey sound trickling through, uh, in the, in the vocal cords there too. Um, so yeah, and it was a nice interpretation. You know, you can go a little different ways with some of these lines and it's not that one's, more right than the other but you know you're stuck to it and you i'm going to take it this direction so it's good yeah you have that great balance of um of normal regular guy and professional so the thing that everybody wants okay so we're going to do ancestry I'm just going to listen to one dave dickinson have you met you not you decided by some online quiz or the stars but all of you you the people and their people, the you that goes way back to moments in history that you didn't know you had any connection with. That's your ancestry. Optimists, makers, misfits, forward thinkers. You might realize there's so much more to you than you. Really well interpreted. Um, I wrote could change it up melodically a bit because it's long. Oh, no, because it was the two spots together. That's why. Yeah. I love the interpretation. I, that confidence that Erica has is there with you, and that is so bookable. Roger? Yeah, I, I liked it. I uh, I thought, um, again, getting the, interpreting the copy, you know, very well, as far as I'm concerned, you know, uh, hitting, emphasizing certain words, and there, people, you know, uh, thought something uh, uh, kind of ended up flat on the last couple lines, the optimists, makers, misfits, forward thinkers. Could have heard a little more uh, variety uh, in those lines, um, and it felt a little fast. I think optimists makers, um, but again, you know, this is uh, and Natasha keeps using the word nitpicking. You know, nitpicking with Natasha. Um, so, uh, <laughs> um, you know, it's a good read. And by the time we get to that um, that line, you know, if they're not sold, they're not sold. But I, right, I, I, you know, agreed. It's good. Yeah, uh, Reese. Jesus. And I already know I made a mistake in this. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, 
why can't I find I've it? heard everyone else is like, damn, that's how you say it. Yeah. <laughs> I like these teasers, like Catherine telling us one of my reads I don't like, you know, these. Yeah. these <laughs> well, this one's kind of obvious because it's this one. <laughs> okay. okay. No Dave worries. Dickinson. On a very, 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 very quiet day in 2019, in the quietest room known to exist on earth, five individuals and a substantial amount of Reese peanut butter cups gather to explore the deepest corners of the mind of a Reese fan. Known to the world as ASMRTS, these individuals are capable of manipulating sound to create a powerful reaction known as Autonomous Sensory Meridian Response, also known as the chills. This is the story of what happened that day. The following is a sneak preview of a scene from Reese the Movie, an ASMR experience, coming June 9th to Crave TV. I think you're one of those people that I love to hate. It's just really good and gets it, you know. <laughs> there like it me, is. The line no of the training. Night. Just Sound like, like my ex. No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, very witty take on the intro. Love the confidence. Of course, AM artists was a bit funny. Um, the slate, the really nitpicky thing is slate sounds like you're in a hurry and you want to sound like you care. So you don't want to just run, run into it and running out the door. But that combo of regular guy and pro is right there in your face. And it makes me want to hate you. <laughs> Love you, Dave. Roger. Yeah, I mean, it's, you know, uh, we, we, we know your sound now from the three scripts and, and it's very, um, it's a sound I think that can land uh, lots, a lot of gigs that are, you know, certain types of gigs. I don't know if they, if they're looking just for the even more deeper movie trailer guy, like we've heard from a couple of our other uh, participants, you know, you might not get it, but they might very well have been looking for something right in that, in that wheelhouse that you have. So I think you're in a good place um, for what's a number of castings um, come in looking for. So um, yeah. Well, my number? <laughs> Drop me a line. Um, I, I did a second take, but someone's you were talking about this script earlier, and I did it sort of like the Twilight Zone. The guy, you know, Rod Sterling, yeah. And I went, no, nah, I should send it in just how I'm going to do well, it. Well, if it was two, you definitely want to, yeah. yeah. Well, that's what, be, yeah, yeah. This would be one of those scripts where you know it would really be a, uh, a chance to try something different, right? Because you know, it's not 100% clear. Um, what they're looking for. And there's a lot of copy to play with. So, but I think th in this case, it's they hear it and they be like, oh, that's what we were looking for. And they didn't know what they were looking for until he, well, I loved all the interpretations, I must say, today of this commercial. And it was very well written, mm -hmm. but he did a great job. It's great that, uh, I mean, we had, I think, 25 scripts, uh, but it's great that so many people did a few of them so we can all kind of compare the different interpretations and all that. Yeah. Well done, people. Really Even well done. Even though you didn't do it deliberately. 